Today I'm going to be talking about some of the new features in the version 1.1 update to the Photosynth app. The capture experience is as you remember, but we've added a number of new ways to share using the app. For instance, if I go in and tap share, I see Facebook, Bing Maps, and Photosynth.net sharing. But now we have the option to email and save to camera roll. So if I tap email, I can see that I have an opportunity to crop the image or to select auto crop, and then email. This composes the email for you, which you can then send to your friends. If you want to use an image of the panorama with one of the other apps on your phone, you just have to tap share and then camera roll. You'll see the same crop interface we had a moment ago, along with auto crop, and the option to save. And then your panorama image will show up on the camera roll. A very popular way to share is with Facebook. And we've enhanced this functionality with the ability to also share to Bing Maps at the same time. If you notice, the new section on the bottom allows you to make your panorama public and searchable on Bing Maps so that the rest of the world can see it. Now, of course, we encourage you to set the properties of your panorama before doing this. So if you tap Edit Properties and then, for instance, add a place, you'll see that we have a new place chooser in the app with which you can search by name. In this case, I'll type in part of the name. I just tap it. It fills in the place and also the title. I hit Done and then Share. And now I'm sharing both to Facebook and to Bing Maps. With all the great panoramas being shared to Bing Maps, we now have a way to view them right inside the app. Just tap on Best of Bing Maps to see a regularly updated list of great panoramas shared by users just like you. We hope you enjoy the new version 1.1 update, which is available in the App Store right now.